Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. I'm here to do a very short video on this uh, nifty little thumb wheel switch. Uh, these switches are uh, made uh, in two flavors, I believe. Uh, one is the, uh, the binary coded decimal model, which is what this is. And then there's the other model where it's um, a decimal version where there are one through or zero through nine and then there's a common lead in there. But anyway, so what this is, is it's a binary coded decimal. So it counts um, uh, four bits and uh, up to nine digits. So for example, it counts zero, there's a plus and a minus uh, buttons in here, push buttons, so when you press them, it, um, actually I have it upside down, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth, up to 8, 9, and then back to 0. So when you press these push buttons, let's take 1 as an example, right, and what happens is the switch uh, connects up the common lead, which is here, with the one lead which is here so they are internally connected uh, and then you could do whatever you want to do with it so when you do when I press 2 when I press 2 common is connected up with 2 and then you could do something with it now if I did 3 as an example then bit number 1 and 2 are both connected up to the the common lead so if technically speaking you could say that one bit one and two are they go high and you could uh, light up the LEDs okay so it's fairly straightforward so if you looked at my previous Nixie 2 video you'll probably have you probably have seen you would have seen uh, the four LED um, binary coded example so this is really just a variation of it. Uh, rather than using a counter, I'm thinking of doing something similar with this uh, thumb wheel uh, switch. All right. So this can count up to nine. So for example, uh, three would be one and two. F uh, four would be just four. Five would be four and one. Eight would be just eight. And nine would be eight and one and so on and so forth. Okay. So this can do up to... Uh, nine or rather yeah nine all right so the way this works internally um, internally is um, I just pulled one out I bought a whole bunch of these actually there's uh, they come in they come as individuals and then you can buy them separate and then you can connect them all together uh, I had originally purchased these for what's called um, a decade a decade resistor uh, kit um, to build one out but I re later realized this was a binary coded switch not a decimal switch so I'll probably use these for my Nixie tubes or any of the other binary related projects that I'm working on okay all right let me set that aside now I pulled out I cracked open one of these switches and there it's right here so Inside of the switch, let me see if I can get a closer look. Inside of the switch, when I press these buttons, th there's this wiper. This wiper here goes in circles. And as it goes in circles, there's this PCB here that has these prefabricated uh, copper layout. And the wiper connects these copper layouts depending on which number you picked, it makes a combination, so to speak, um, and then makes a connectivity that way, all right? So let me press this and you'll see firsthand how this works. When I press these two buttons now, let's see, it goes in circles. Uh, very intuitive uh, design. Really love looking at this mechanical uh, approach. Uh, anyway, so I thought it was very interesting. And then, likewise, the opposite way. All right. So this goes like so, like over here. And then as you push up and down, these connectors here, like we saw earlier, 
they get connected by the wiper and the corresponding bits are are um, are set up to go high okay all right so that's a a quick in intro of this switch and I think I'll have a few projects that I want to use these one was uh, to use uh, in, a, in, a, in a simple Nixie uh, switch and Nixie tube um, lighter um, or Nixie tube example so I just started this this PCB here and then you could uh, mount your uh, decimal binary to decimal uh, chip in here and then mount your Nixie here and see how that works. So I haven't quite completed this project yet But just to give you guys a demo I Set something up here. Let me pull it up quick um, All right, let's see if I can get a closer look for you All right, hopefully that'll stay um, focused. So this would be bit one, two, three, four. So think of it that way. I have a, I think these are 120R resistors to each of the uh, LEDs. The common LED, or rather the common uh, lead, in this case, let me pull this up. The common lead here, uh, that is, uh, that, that is connected to positive and each of these uh, is connected up to this, these resistors and then go to the anode lead of the LEDs. The other end of the LED is grounded. Okay, it's fairly straightforward. So let me turn this on. Um, and I have five volts coming in. So as you can tell, five is bit one and Three, six would be three and two, and seven would be all three bits. Eight, nine, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So I thought I'd just quickly show you that quick example. Uh, I was very impressed with how these mechanical switches were made and uh, very intuitive. I'll, I'll have some use for these switches, um, especially in my Nixie 2 projects. But I'm also working on a... Um, I was watching a gentleman's uh, YouTube channel where he was... Uh, where he built out a, an 8-bit computer from scratch and I was very intrigued by it. So... I think these switches will have very good use in that project. So something that I'm still working on and noodling, etc. So I have a ton of these, so I'll probably have a use for them. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you this uh, quick example. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon. This can get addictive.